Hey, what's up guys? I'm Nick Acosta with Let's Grow in Christ. And I wanna show you what it is that the spirit is, the soul and the body, okay? As believers, we must know this is very important. Okay, if this is your first time here, I wanna encourage you to hit the subscribe button, follow us and grow in Christ with us like never before. Check it out. So let's start with the body, our flesh. Our flesh is evil. It craves sin, it is fallen, and it's contrary to God, okay? The Bible says that the flesh is contrary to the Spirit of God. It doesn't want to do the things of God or obey God at all, okay? That's why it says those who walk in the flesh cannot please God, all right? Next, we have the Spirit or the new creation. That's referring to the Holy Spirit that fills the believer, okay, that comes inside the believer, makes his body God's temple, and it says that it comes together into oneness with the spirit of a man. It says that the spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are now children of God. And it says that the spirit from within cries out, Abba, Father. So it's the spirit of God that comes within the believer and makes us new creations. And this spirit is holy. This spirit is good. This spirit is righteous. That's why the Bible says that we are now the new man created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. Right. So that's the spirit of God within. And it gives us a new identity. That's the spirit. That's the new creation. That's you and I in Christ Jesus. And then last is the soul or the mind. OK, it must be changed or renewed. It can be influenced by the spirit. God. Right. But it gets bad thoughts from the flesh. So the body, the flesh brings bad thoughts to the mind, a feeling, a temptation, a memory, an emotion, and it tempts the mind, right? So even though we can renew it, this flesh will always give us the ability um, of being tempted because this flesh is still fallen. So if we can renew our minds and keep renewing our minds and learn the word of God and learn what's right and what's not, but this flesh will continue to tempt the mind. That's why this last one, the soul must be kept in line, okay? The Bible says that we must pull down strongholds. We must reject evil thoughts that comes to our mind, that come to our mind that are contrary to God, that reject the doctrine of Christ, okay? So watch this. The flesh, the body is evil. See that, that no, that X, that cross, it's evil. The spirit of the new creation is good. That's a good thing. What about the soul of the mind? It's both. It gets tempted by the flesh. It must be renewed, but it has the potential to be influenced and inspired by the spirit of God. So it's both. So this is what happens in the lives of believers. This is why discipleship is so important. This is why we must be transformed and sanctified because we have the spirit of God. We are new creations, but we have a flesh that is tempted, that tempts us, that drives us to want to do evil. And we have a mind, a soul that must be submitted to the spirit of God in order to make the body do the will of God and please God and do good, okay? So the only way we could bear good fruit is by using our, renewing our soul, renewing our mind, submitting it to the spirit of God, and then we can use our bodies for good. Even though the body is not, it can be used for good because we have the spirit, but our minds must be lined up and renewed and submitted to the spirit in order for that to flow correctly as Jesus promised us. The Bible says that by the spirit, we can put to death the deeds of the flesh. The Bible says to obey God, right? And then it says to walk in love, to put on love, to, uh, love, to put on the new man. The Bible says that we must imitate God, that we must be holy in our conduct, right? That's actions. That's something that people will see with our bodies as our father in heaven is holy, right? The Bible says to bear the fruit of the spirit, not of the flesh, of the spirit. 
So it's vital that we start thinking according to the Spirit in order to act with our bodies according to the Spirit. And that's how you grow. So let's grow in Christ today. Remember what the soul, what the flesh, and what the Spirit are all about so that you can remember to be intentional about the renewal of your mind, about the changing of the soul and the submitting to the Spirit of God. Go ahead and like this video, share the video, tell everybody you know that you know needs to grow in Christ. Hey, I think you need to see this because I think it's time for you to grow in Christ, mature in Christ, and do the will of God because he's done so much for you. You got to start pleasing him, living for him, and glorifying him, okay? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time. Let's grow.